Hi, I'm David Carmichael, the State Archivist of Pennsylvania, and in these short videos I want to share with you some of my personal favorites from our collection of 250 million documents. These are not professionally made videos. I'm working from home with the uh, pandemic, just as many of you are, but it gives me a chance to share with you some of the items in our collection that have special meaning to me. Today I want to talk about conserving documents. The State Archives holds 250 million documents that range from the founding of Pennsylvania to the most current digital records of the Commonwealth, and all of them are in the State Archives because they need to be kept forever. And that's a challenge. Records just have a natural tendency to break down over time, and the more they're used, the more they deteriorate. And then well-meaning people try to repair them and cause even more problems, as you can see from the tape on this document. Sometimes it's not use that damages documents, but the materials used to create the document in the first place. Here, the iron gall ink used to create this early record had so much acid in it, it literally burned through the page, especially along the outlines that the quill pen made. Pennsylvania's earliest records faced other challenges as well. Here we see the Secretary of the Governor's Council warning state officials in 1781 to be ready to spirit their records away in case of a British attack. And state records were subject to much less dramatic hazards as well. In this 1757 survey of the state's records, the committee reported that some of the early records had been eaten by mice. Some problems haven't changed in 300 years. The State Archives considers how to protect records from the moment they enter the archives. We arrange and describe them and place them in acid-free folders and boxes. And then we store them in secure vaults that maintain a constant temperature and humidity and also protect them from natural disasters, such as floods. Sometimes a document is so rare and so important, we'll have it conserved or repaired by a professional conservator. But work like that is very expensive, so we reserve that for only the most important documents. More often, we make copies for people to use. At one time, those copies were made on microfilm, but today, we're much more likely to digitize the record. Not only does that help us preserve it, but it also makes it easier for people to use by accessing it online. You'll find thousands of our documents on our portal in the Power Library. Just follow this URL, digitalarchives.powerlibrary.org slash PSA. And be sure to visit us online at www.pastatearchives.org. Thank you.